Thank you both for the wonderful presentations. I had a question for Dr. Sarush. Um, you began by stating that Islam is it's misleading to uh, confine it into a single rubric. Rather, it is a series of interpretation. Don't you see a danger in that, that when you are given such an open-ended realm of understanding that bin Ladens can emerge as well as people like you. So how do you, uh, isn't there, what's, what's the danger in that and what is the future of that definition? So what are you going to prevent? Emerging of me or emerging of bin Laden? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the catch 20 here, the catch 22. Well, this, I mean, both comes together, I mean. <laughs> I mean, uh, honestly, um, I would say that uh, I am not going to decree that uh, there must be, a, a, you know, a plurality of interpretation. It is a fact of history. I am just describing, I'm just reporting. When you, when you look back at the history of interpretation, not only in, in Islam, but also in Christianity, you know, all, all other religions, for that matter, even in non-divine ideologies, let us say Marxism, for example, you will see that everywhere you encounter a different interpretation. And I am not endorsing all of those interpretations, of course, but this is how religious, I mean, how human, you know, uh, knowledge uh, develops. You know, you put forward your own understanding, I put forward my understanding, and then we have got a community of scholars, a community of uh, knowledgeable people, and they will decide, and eventually, in a Darwinian way, you know, the best ideas will survive, and the bad ones and the false ones will die out. This is how it is. And I don't think that anybody can command anybody else in order to say what to say and what not to say. Look at, uh, you know, I mean, for example, Sunnis and Shi'is, Paul mentioned here. My class on that is, these two are two very uh, gross, different interpretations of Islam, you know, right from the beginning. We had an interpretation which I call it Sunni interpretation and, some, and another one which we call it Shi interpretation. And you see that they are there, you know, for 1400 years and I don't think that they are going to die, you know, very soon. So they will, you know, remain. And of course there are many, many small subdivisions inside both of them. So uh, this is a fact of history, and uh, it actually invites us to endeavor and to strive more in order to find the truth. I mean, as much as our possibility and our ability, you know, can uh, tell us and can uh, uh, make us achieve. And that is the whole thing. I don't find any way out from this plurality of interpretations. I might just add to that um, that, yeah, I mean, the issue isn't perhaps religious authority per se. It's always going to be contested between a learned elite and alternative uh, readings of the religion. But, but I think what Sarush said is right, is that if the tradition is protected, the divine human tradition, if that's protected, then you won't have bin Laden's. You'll have a plurality of interpretation, but I think bin Laden is a product of a disconnect with the tradition, and you see that, in fact, a recent uh, jihadist ideologue, uh, but he Imam. He doesn't see it that way. I mean. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, he doesn't see it that way, but I guess there's an example. Um, he's not very learned, in a way, right? Um, and he's not the leading jihadist ideologue. Even within jihadist circles, he's not highly respected for his knowledge. But there is this important example, uh, Imam uh, Sayyid Sharif, who uh, was in an Egyptian jail for a while, and he, he is the leading jihadist ideologue. But, but in Egypt, in his prison experience, uh, and I don't think it's as a result of coercion, as some might say, but he's had long uh, conversations with the, with the ulama from al-Azhar, and he's recanted j jihadism. He sees that, that, that this thing that bin Laden promotes is not um, you know, so I don't know, maybe if bin Laden had those same conversations, he too might open up, but, but he's, he's not the most learned of the jihadists. So.